is a kind of person that doesn't want proudness. If you are proud, he will hate you. He wants you to look very simple. He always assures us that every position you are is given to you by God and you should not be proud of it. He's my dad, he's a friend, he's a good, he's a good advisor and he's everything I got. I love him so much. His love, his caring attitude towards me, so many things, so many. You see, we rate people by the quality of children they have. In that direction, uh, he was a gallant gentleman. He, he had a he had shift. He had shift, that is it. Best food. Uh, he doesn't eat much, but he likes good food. Anything good food, he likes it. But of late, we have these native beans that he likes a lot. And you always say, my wife should cook it for him. He's a good father to me. He taught me how to manage my life. He taught me one thing that I will never forget in my life. I should be myself. I should take care of myself. I should not look down on anybody so that people will respect me. He taught me many things that I will only live to remember. I know he's an industrialist. Right from when we were small. He has been an industrialist. And for him to live this long, it means he's a good man. He has the people at heart and it's because of the fear of God that is why he has lived to this level. And I thank God that as he has died, he will be with our Lord in Jesus' name. He's a very jovial man, a man of wisdom, and one who, who believes in hard work. He detests laziness, he, he, he detests high service. So you just work hard and you make it to top. But Bogoro is a nice man, to my understanding. Chief of Bogoro is a man to reckon with. Chief of Bogoro is a responsible man. He's a man, a well personality man. I pray, may so rest in perfect peace. That's my, that's my word. He's a very good love. He's a, he has a good sense of humor. Oh, he's such a lovely, sweet man and jovial, very sociable, very liked, a wonderful man, a man of peace and love, a man who pulls crowds every day, every day, anywhere, a man who has the family at heart. I, I just can't describe, describe it. He's, he's just a wonderful man. From what we have seen so far, and from this, the cream of people we have seen here, He's a very, very sociable man, highly sociable, and uh, God has called him to his bosom. It's so unfortunate um, that he's uh, no more. I truly, truly miss him. We had this um, very cordial relationship. He was there for me. He's a caring dad, a unique father. In fact, he's one in a million. He's been so wonderful and uh, so enterprising and so helpful and so kind. I was so close to him as his secretary in his business. We were so close. We were like five and six, and I truly miss him dearly. The wife, who is the daughter in law, to my own assessment, if we can assess by her personality, then the family, they are nice people. Okay? I think they are fair. You can see the occasion. And gentlemen, you've heard so much from a lot of people about late Omo Dafi Esume JP Ogogoro. What did you learn? Because for me, I learned it was hard working, it was passionate, it loves giving, it loves gathering people, it's so comical, it's so funny, it's everything that every child desires from a father. So, are you a daddy? Are you a mommy? Are you children? Whatever you may be, please learn something from what you've heard about late Omodafi Isume, JP O Bokuru.